啊，今天我们的这个这这堂课的这个内容就是中阴的修心啊。人死了以后，就是会有一个孤独的这个时间啊。人死了还没有投生啊，这有个孤独的时间，这个叫做中阴。So tonight, the topic of tonight's teaching is going to be、uh, meditation in the、uh, death bardo. So after someone dies,、uh, there is an intermediate state、uh, between their death and、uh, and their rebirth. This intermediate state is what we refer to as the bardo. 嗯，然后这个中阴的这个修法是大乘佛教的这个秘法里面讲的非常非常清楚。呃、uh, ，as to the Bardo state, this is something that the、uh, tantric tradition, uh, or the tantric tantric teachings within the Mahayana tradition, uh, gives very clear instructions on. 呃、uh, ，然后这个中印的修法是藏传佛教的这个任何一个教派，比如说像尼玛、噶举等等，所有的教派都有这个中印的修法。And as、uh, for meditation practice in the、uh, death bardo or the bardo of death, this is something that is found in the、uh, different traditions of Tibetan Buddhism, whether it be the Nyingma school or the Kagyu school. 嗯，我们平时啊，普通人就认为人死了以后，一切都结束了，但其实根本就不是这样子。这个我们昨天已经给大家介绍过了。Ordinary people are of the mind that when one dies, everything comes to an end, but this is not the case at all. This is、uh, something that we spoke about yesterday evening. 那么人死了以后，还没有结束啊，一还没有结束。那么没有结束的话，那么在这个过程当中，到底啊发生了什么事情呢 ？So, uh, with one's death, uh, one has not finished. Uh, after death, then what happens? 首先。<音>我们昨天啊，给大家介绍过了，所谓的死亡啊，实际上就是我们的这个啊，眼、耳、鼻、舌、神啊，五个感官的这个直觉啊，逐渐逐渐的消失。So, as for so-called death, last night we、uh, looked at how this is. Um, in actuality, nothing but the gradual disappearance of our five sense faculties and their perceptions. 比如说，我们的视觉开始停止的时候，啊，我们看东西的时候呢，就是变得越来越模糊。So when our eye consciousness ceases to function, then we stop being able to see clearly.、Uh, that which we perceive with our eyes becomes blurry. 然后我们的听觉开始停止的时候，开始消失的时候呢？比如说有人在旁边说话，人在旁边，但是呢，这个声音似乎就是很远很远的声音一样，听得特别特别的小。那么这个时候呢，就开始啊，停止我们的这个耳识，也就是我们的听觉。When our ear consciousness begins to、uh, disappear, then if someone beside us is speaking, it sounds as though their voice was、uh, very, very far away indeed. Their voice、uh, sounds almost inaudible. And this is a sign that our ear consciousness or our sense of hearing is beginning to、uh, cease to function. 然后我们的啊五个感官的直觉全部消失了以后呢，然后我们的五个感官就就从此以后就不再工作啊，停止工作。So after all of our five sensory perceptions have dissolved or disappeared, they cease to function. They cease to operate. 
，然后五个感官的直觉消失了以后呢，然后我们的意识的活动也就开始消失。And after our five sense faculties、uh, stop functioning, then our、uh, mental consciousness also begins to cease its activity. 最后，只剩下这个阿赖耶识，除了阿赖耶识以外的全部的这个精神啊，都停滞了，都消失。And finally, all that remains is our old ground consciousness. The other layers of consciousness have all disappeared or ceased to function. 呃，那么这个过程当中，比如说我们从我们的视觉开始消失，到最后就是只剩下阿赖耶识，在这个过程啊，就是这个当中呢，就是有一个过程。So from the very beginning, when our eye consciousness starts to、uh, disappear, to the very end, when we are left with nothing but our all-ground consciousness, this entails a process. There is a process between these,、uh, the, the, the beginning and the final point. 但是这个过程啊是什么样子？在这个过程当中发生了什么事情啊？我们普通人都是一无所知。However, as to the nature of this process, what it is and what happens uh, in its uh, midst is something that ordinary people have no understanding about. 死亡，它就是一个我周期性的啊，生命的活动，周期性的。比如说，我们的任何一个这个食物，它都有周期。比如说，我们的这个地球。有一年四季啊，三百六十五天啊，这是一个周期。嗯，然后呢，比如说月亮，在它的这个轨道上啊，它的轨道上也有啊，它的这个啊，它的周期。然后任何一个其他的天体啊，它们都有它们的周期。同样的，我们的生命也有周期。Death, in fact, is、uh, just a cycle in the course of、uh, uh, in the course of a life. So, any kind of object, any kind of phenomena, is、uh, subject to cycles. So, we have four seasons in the course of one year. We have three hundred and sixty-five days. The moon has its own、uh, cyclic orbit. Other constellations also follow their own、uh, cycles. It's exactly the same with our lives and lifespans. They are all subject to a cyclic law. Our universe, the whole universe, has a cycle. Then the sun has a cycle. Then the moon. 然后，太阳系当中的地球，它也有周期。任何一个事物都有它的周期性。Our, our universe,、uh, the Milky Way、uh, galaxy, it has its own cycles, as does the solar system, and as, do, as does the Earth. So any、uh, phenomenon、uh, has its own cycles. 嗯，然后我们的这个生命的周期是什么啊？就是有两个啊，两个，呃，一可以说三个啊，三个。那三个，第一个是什么呢？从我们一个生命的诞生啊，到最后成佛啊，这个是一个大的周期。What about the cycle of life then? What are the cycles of life? Well, we can say that there are three major life cycles. The first is from the birth of a being to the point that the being achieves Buddhahood. This is one major life cycle. 那这个时间啊是没有办法用我们人类的时间啊来计算。啊，有可能是一个几十亿，有可能几百万年
，有可能几千万年，这个都说不清楚，是一个非常非常啊漫长的过程。As to the period of time、uh, entailed in this cycle, it's not possible to use、uh, human or ordinary concepts of time to estimate how long this would take. It might be a million years, a billion years, more than this. In any case, an extremely long time. This, for example, is one number from zero. For example, our calculator. 啊，计算器啊，不是电脑，计算器。然后计算器从零开始计算啊，加减乘除，然后呢，最后啊，它要归零啊，它要归零啊。那我们的零是什么啊？零就是我们的佛心如来藏，从如来藏佛心当中啊，诞生了一个生命。然后在这个轮回当中，六转了很长很长漫长的时间，然后最后又回到啊这个如来藏，回归真正的自然，这个就是一个大的周期。We can liken it to a calculator that always begins with the digit zero, and、uh, regardless of、um, what calculations we perform, the figures that we、uh, multiply to achieve ultimately the computer, the calculator returns to zero. So、uh, similarly. When a being arises from the fund from its fundamental state of Buddha nature, and、uh, then spends a very long period of time wandering in cyclic existence, and、uh, then ultimately finally returns to the primordial state of Buddha nature, this can be considered as one big cycle. Then the second phase, ah, the second phase, one person ah, rising. 啊，到最后的这个死亡啊，最后的死亡就是人的一生啊，是一个中等的啊一个周期。So after that、uh, major life cycle, there is a second、uh, life cycle,、uh, which Refers to the period between the birth of a being to their death. So this is this lifespan in the、uh, course of one life. So one lifespan. This is the second level of,、uh, or the second cycle、uh, within the life cycles. This is just like ah, numbers. For example, we from one to one hundred. Ah, so this way, then. 每九个数字以后，就会又回到一个零啊，十个、二十、三十啊，每九个以后就会又归到一个零啊，就是这样子。我们在这个大的这个周期里面，然后就有很多很多小的周期啊，这个就一个人的诞生到死亡之间就是一个周期。So it's like if we were counting from say one to a hundred, every nine、uh, digits we would return to ten or a multiple of ten, and、uh, it is like this with a human lifespan. Within the greater life cycle that we just spoke about, individual lifespans are like these increments of nine digits. So there are many small. A cycles contained within a larger cycle. 然后最小的生命的这个活动周期啊，每二十四小时就会啊发生一次。And the shortest、uh, cycle that、uh, occurs within the life cycle is one that takes place every twenty-four hours. 那么为什么啊？人的这个这个二十四小时，每二十四小时发生一次的周期是什么啊？就是我们啊，进入了深度的睡眠，进入了深度睡眠，然后开始做梦啊，回到现实生活，然后呢，又开始进入深度的睡眠啊
，那么这个是每二十四小时之间就会产生的一个小的生命的周期。So, what is this、uh, short 24-hour、uh, life cycle?、Uh, well, it is when we、uh, enter into、uh, deep sleep every evening and begin to dream, and then we wake up, and then、uh, f- the following day enter into deep sleep again. So this. Um, process of entering into deep sleep, waking up, and returning to deep sleep constitutes the shortest cycle within our overall life cycles. So, we today talk about this relationship between death and life. So, when we talk about deep sleep and death. What is the connection between these two states? 深度的睡眠啊，跟这个死亡啊，它的原理啊，死亡的时候到底发生了什么？睡眠的时候进入了深度的睡眠的时候，呃，发生了什么？为什么人有这个深度睡眠啊？为什么人有死亡？原理，这个原理完全是一样的，道理都是一样的。So the the reason why we、uh, have deep sleep and the reason why we experience death and what happens in both of these states, the reason or the principle underlying them both is the same. 唯一的一个不一样就是死亡的时候，它的深度跟睡眠的时候的深度不一样，深度不一样，原理都是一样的。The only difference is that when we experience dying, the depth of experience is different to、uh, when we have deep sleep. So, with the exception of the depth of the experience, the principle, their underlying pattern or or, or principle, is the same. We, for example, ah, prepare to enter sleep. 到最后真正进入睡眠这个过程当中，我们的眼、耳、鼻、舌、身，还有我们的意识，他们都在逐渐、逐渐的消失啊，逐渐、逐渐的消失。但是呢，我们根本就感觉不到啊，我们睡眠的时候发生了什么，我们感觉不到，我们普通人都感觉不到。When we enter into deep sleep. Or when we are preparing,、uh, ready to enter into deep sleep, gradually our five sensory faculties and our mental mental consciousness disappear. But an ordinary person doesn't re- realize or doesn't perceive this as happening. But there is one way. For example, like Google Earth, ah, Google's Earth, ah, we only see a Earth, and then we put it and put it and put it, and then. 啊，看到一个城市，然后就看到车、人、建筑物、公路，啊，都能够看得到。But there is a method that we can use, and it is rather like Google Maps. So when we look at Google Maps to begin with, we see the Earth as a globe. But if we continue to enlarge the image, then we are able to see cities with people, buildings, roads, etc. 同样的，我们进入睡眠到最后的深度的睡眠，这个过程是可以放大的。And in exactly the same way, it is possible to enlarge or magnify the process of entering into deep sleep. 然后放大了一看啊，它根本就不是啊我们所想象这样，这个里面就有很多很多的层次。And when we do magnify this experience, we discover that it is not as we thought, and that in fact the experience is made up of many different levels. 就像我们的人体有那么多的细胞，有那么多的毛细血管，但是我们不知道一样。It's exactly the same as our physical bodies. Our physical bodies are made up of many cells and capillaries, but、uh, we don't know about these either. 
，然后我们进入了这个深度的睡眠，从深度的睡眠当中开始做梦，从做梦又开始回到现实生活。这个回来的时候啊，我们的意识。一是诞生了啊，眼耳鼻舌身五个感官的知觉也就逐渐逐渐的诞生了。这个诞生的过程啊，我们一无所知，我们根本不知道我怎么样从这个梦里面醒过来的，我怎么样从深度的睡眠当中醒过来的，这些我们都感觉不到。And、uh, when we progress from the state of deep sleep to the dream state, and then from the dream state begin our process of returning to the waking state, our、uh, sense faculties and our mental consciousness gradually、uh, begin to、uh, re-arise. However, despite the fact that they are gradually ar- re-arising, we never have any.、Uh, We never realize this to be happening. We never perceive it、um, how, as it happens. We don't know how it is that we wake from the dream state. 然后这个过程放大了以后呢，那这个也就是不是我们所想象。这个里面有很多不同的层次、阶段。And just the same, if we were to magnify、uh, this process as well, we would discover that it is made up of many different、uh, levels and stages. So, so, ah, this, for example, dream, or dream, or deep sleep, ah, these are things we don't understand. We don't understand the truth of dream, the truth of dream, and the truth of dream. 连做梦和深度睡眠的这种真相，为什么睡眠？睡眠的过程当中是什么样子？是怎么样回来的？啊，这些我们都一无。我们啊，不但是不了解死亡，连这个深度的睡眠，我们都不了解。Regardless of whether it is death or the dream state or the state of deep sleep, we Don't have an understanding of any of these experiences,、uh, so not only do we not understand the truth of、uh, death and dying, but even dreaming and deep sleep are something that we don't have an understanding of as to why they take place, what happens when they take place, and how we return to waking consciousness from these states is something that we do not understand. 那么用什么东西啊把这个这个过程放大呢？有一个方法叫做梦瑜伽。So how do we go about magnifying this process? Then there is a method,、um, and it is called dream yoga. 如果用梦瑜伽一看，然后我们就看到啊，这个过程当中到底发生了什么？ Through the practice of dream yoga, it is possible for us to discover what is taking place in this process or in these processes. 比如说，一个苹果啊，用这个用子弹啊穿透的时候啊，我们的肉眼，因为这个子弹啊，它的速度很快，我们看不见。但是高速摄影机啊，高速摄影机拍下来了以后呢？然后我们才看得清楚这个子弹啊，怎么样？这个一个苹果啊，从左边到右边穿透啊，这个过程它很清晰的拍下来，然后可以给我们的肉眼看。It's、uh, like an apple、uh, that has a bullet fired through it. Uh, looking at this with our naked eye, it would be too fast for us to see.、Uh, too fast for us to see the process taking place. However, if we were able to capture this event with a high-speed camera, then we would be able to see very clearly the bullet passing through the apple from left to right, and the image captured by the camera would be something we could see then with our、um, naked eyes. 然后这个藏传佛教的秘法。他用这个梦瑜伽去了解这个啊、呃、深度睡眠的时候呢，他就发现死亡
跟这个深度睡眠的过程啊都是一样的。And、uh, through the、uh, practice of dream yoga、uh, in the、uh, tantric practices of the Tibetan Buddhist tradition, it is possible to perceive that or to understand that、uh, deep sleep and death.、Uh, what is taking place is essentially the same. 深度的睡眠。和这个死亡，同样两个都有三个阶段。Both the、uh, state of deep sleep and the process of dying have three stages。深度的睡眠啊，我们开始的时候就进入深度的睡眠啊，这个时候是没有知觉的，这个是第一个阶段。So the uh first Phase or first stage of deep sleep is one where we are not conscious. This is the first, or we're not aware.、Um, this is the first phase. 然后就开始做梦啊，这个是第二个阶段。And then the second phase is the dream state where we begin to dream. 然后啊，舒心又回到现实生活，这是第三个阶段。And the third phase is、um, that of waking up and returning to the ordinary waking state. 死亡也是一样啊，人断了气以后啊，这个我们刚才讲的意识啊，它停滞了以后，然后首先人就会进入一个昏迷的状态。Uh, it's the same with the death process. After the being draws its final breath, final breath, and uh, consciousness uh, ceases, then the being enters into a state of unconsciousness. 人在这个昏迷的状态当中，有可能啊，停几个小时，或者是一两天这样子的时间，但是时间是不一定的。大概就是一个这样子的时间，在这个昏迷的状态当中。The period of time that a person、uh, lasts or remains in this、uh, state of unconsciousness can、uh, be anywhere between several hours and、uh, two days. So it's not fixed the amount of time one would spend in this state. 这是死亡的第一个阶段。So that's the first stage or phase of the process of dying. So, we can see then that、uh, deep sleep and death、uh, share the same pattern or principle. Then, from this this dreamless state, when we get out of it. 就开始是中阴的阶段啊，中阴肾，中阴肾就像梦一样的一个世界。After the、uh, being emerges from the state of unconsciousness, then the、uh, bardo of dying begins, and this、uh, world or、uh, is just like the dream state. 所以就是梦与中阴。Uh, which is why we correspond dreams and the bardo of death. 最后啊，从梦当中又回到这个现实生活，所以这个苏醒啊与投生啊死亡这个中阴身啊中阴的这个阶段过了以后呢，开始投生。After after the bardo of death has concluded, then the、uh, human or being is、uh, is reborn, and、uh, this is like the process of waking from a dream, waking into the ordinary waking state. 然后这个道理明白了以后呢，藏传佛教的秘法就通过梦的训练，通过梦的瑜伽。然后去控制死亡的一些，到时候就是把死亡当中发生的一些事情。
So having understood these principles and how they work, then it is possible through the practice of dream yoga to control the process of dying and death and what happens in this process. Uh, so um, that is uh, we referred to dream yoga. So when we actually uh, take dream yoga, when we actually put it into practice, we implement it at the time of death, then uh, this is what we refer to as meditation in the bardo state. 嗯,就像現在的這個軍事演習一樣,夢可以模擬死亡. Mm, uh, uh, so just like a uh, military simulation exercise, uh, dream yoga enables us to simulate the dying process. 軍事演習,它就是在模擬這個真正的戰爭, uh, 就像 uh, 就是, 同樣的我們的這個夢與家,他在模擬真正的死亡。So just as military exercises are simulating war, so too is dream yoga simulating the process of dying. 因為夢和這個這個做夢和這個深度的睡眠跟死亡跟中陰這個過程,還有這個原理啊,這些都是一完全是一樣的。because the principle underpinning or the pattern underpinning uh, dreams and deep sleep and death and the dying process are the same. So, in so by training properly in uh, dream yoga, it is possible at the time of death to very naturally uh, control what takes place in the death process. But there is one difference between the two, um, and that is that in the state of deep sleep, at the very deepest point of sleep, the all ground consciousness remains. Then, 阿賴耶斯他也就停滯了,消失了。However, in the uh, dying process, there is an extremely short period where the uh, all ground consciousness disappears, it ceases to be. 那麼阿賴耶斯都消失了,那麼就剩下的是什麼呢?剩下的就是我們的心的本性,如來藏。so what is it uh, that remains when the all ground consciousness disappears? What remains is our fundamental basic nature, our Buddha nature. 那么这个时候呢,就这么一瞬间,就这么一瞬间,停止了阿赖耶斯以后呢,这个如来藏光明就一下子出现。啊,但這個時間是非常非常短暫的. So just for the shortest, briefest of moments when our all ground consciousness uh, ceases or disappears, then our Buddha nature or luminosity emerges, but the period for which it does is extremely short. 今天我們這樣的這個中陰的修法,啊,中陰當中呢有很多的修法。
So we, in talking about meditation in the death bardo tonight, well, there are in fact many meditation practices um, that can be done in the uh, bardo of dying. However, the main point uh, is that we need to take advantage of that very short moment when our all-ground consciousness is, has ceased and our Buddha nature emerges. 所以密法的修心人修心人他不但是没有把这个死亡当作一个绝望空补的东西而且他把死亡就当作一个非常难得的一个修心的机会 it's for this reason that uh, tantric practitioners uh, do, uh, not just uh, not regard death as a terrible and terrifying experience, but see it as an extremely rare opportunity. In the uh, Hinayana teachings, there is also a uh, practice for um, achieving ahutship in the bardo state. Um, even though this is also a bardo practice, it is not the same as uh, bardo practice in the tantric tradition. 呃，它为什么是一个非常难得的这个修行的机会呢？ Why is it that uh, this is such a rare opportunity in terms of our practice? 修行有三个啊，这个阶段。第一个可以说是三个阶段，对，第一个是我们现实生活当中修行。we can say that in terms of practice, there are three different stages. The first is our, um, our, our lives, in our everyday lives. Gan 修行的深度达不到这么深的程度 So meditation in our ordinary uh, waking state due to the fact that um, our sense faculties are still operating they uh, impact or um, disturb our meditative concentration our mental uh, consciousness still exists too. So this means that in our ordinary waking state, no matter how good our meditative concentration may be, it cannot rival the quality or level of meditative concentration that can be attained in the state of deep sleep or during the um, death process. <coughs> 啊，深度睡眠的时候的这个禅修，啊，这个修心比我们现实生活当中修的任何一个禅修啊，更加的这个清晰，更加的清楚。um, practice of dream yoga in our state of deep sleep, the uh, meditative concentration that we can achieve is uh, more clear and more vivid than any state of meditative concentration we can achieve in our ordinary waking state. So, if we 
啊，这个平时大作的这个经界，他可以把这个经界带到啊深度的水面当中去修。So, uh, through the uh, practice of dream yoga, it's possible that、um, we can take our level of meditative realization into the dream state and practice in this state. Because in the deep sleep state, our senses are completely closed. Then the rest of our activity is completely closed. 所以只剩下阿赖耶识，啊，只剩下阿赖耶识，其他都不存在，都停滞了。所以这个大足的这个啊深度，比我们现实生活当中的这个深度还要更深层次。Because in our、uh, state of deep sleep, our、uh, senses have ceased to operate, and most of our mental activity has also ceased to operate. And、uh, all that remains is our all-ground consciousness. The depth of meditative experience we can have is、uh, is, is is much more deep than、uh, meditative experience we might have in a, our ordinary waking state. But, ah, deep sleep, there are also the alayesh, ah, there are also the activities. 所以还是会有一些干扰。However, in the state of deep sleep, we do still have the all-ground consciousness, which means that we still have very subtle、uh, activity of our consciousness. Therefore, there is some disturbance. 嗯，这个深度睡眠的这个啊、呃，这个修心深禅修。比平时的禅修好啊，但是呢，没有死亡的时候的啊，没有那么达不到这种深度。So even though the meditative experience we can achieve in the state of deep sleep is、um, clearer or deeper than that which we can have ordinarily, it、uh, is not as deep. Or as clear as the meditation or the meditative experience we can achieve、uh, during the dying process. Because dying is a moment, a moment, a moment, and then there is no any connection at all. It is directly the new birth, the original face, the original face, is realized. At that time. 这个深度啊，这个这个清晰度是比我们的平时现实生活当中的大作啊，我们闭关大作，还有就是梦瑜伽、睡眠的时候大作，都不如这个。So that moment、uh, at death, when there are no obstacles whatsoever to our meditation, and we are able to directly experience the nature of mind, that is, our fundamental nature is for an instant revealed. The clarity、uh, and depth that we can achieve at this point is、uh, far greater than any meditation we can have in ordinary life, whether it's in a retreat environment or relying on dream yoga or meditation in in deep sleep. 那么这个禅定的啊，这个这个禅定是，他活着的时候，修的这个禅修的境界啊，就带到这个死亡当中去修，不是我们前面讲啊。梦瑜伽把这个，呃，平时的这个境界带到啊深度的睡眠当中修啊，因为深度的睡眠很安静的，所以这个他修得特别的这个清楚，看得特别清楚。同样的，死亡的时候把这个境界啊，活着的时候所修的境界，就带到啊。死亡的这个昏迷的这个阶段，带到这个阶段去修啊，所以这就是更加的清晰，这个力量更啊更大。So uh, during the uh, dying state or during the dying process, 
a practitioner is able to bring the level of realization that they have accomplished in uh, their meditation while alive into that state. So just as we saw before, when a practitioner uh, meditates in a state of deep sleep, they bring their meditative, their level of meditative realization that they achieved in uh, ordinary waking state into the state of deep sleep and because it is very quiet they are able to achieve greater clarity. So too during the uh, death process the practitioner brings their level of uh, meditative realization to the unconscious post-death state and as a result the experience is uh, extremely clear and even more powerful than in the state of deep sleep. 然后这个它的前提条件,前提条件,我们这一生必须,首先必须要证悟,没有证悟,如果没有证悟,那么梦语家,中阴的修法都是没有办法修的。So the precondition for this practice is that in this lifetime we achieve enlightenment, otherwise without this it is not possible to um, uh, practice in the um, in the death bardo. So, mm. so enlightenment is very important. I hope everyone is works diligently towards it. And after having gained enlightenment, we still need to do some training. And uh, through doing this training, it will be possible uh, during the uh, process of dying that as soon as the all ground consciousness uh, ceases and our Buddha nature directly emerges, that we will be able to perceive it. And in recognizing it, uh, we will be able to immediately enter into or abide in the state of uh, recognition of our Buddha nature. In the uh, best case scenario, a uh, practitioner at this moment can directly achieve Buddhahood. That is, it won't be necessary for them to go through the rest of the Bado process. So, so for a practitioner like this, one week of uh, practice or meditation in this state surpasses the uh, meditation of another practitioner over the course of an entire lifetime. So and uh, as a result of this, uh, great realized adoption practitioners who may be of a height of 1.7 or 1.8 meters, in the course of one week, their bodies shrink to a very small size. Uh, it's even possible for the body to disappear completely. Because 
本来的面目的这个状态当中，所以这个禅修的力量是非常非常巨大的。Because at this moment,、uh, one's Buddha nature is obscured、uh, by nothing, including the all-ground consciousness. It is not there, and so the、uh, original face of one's basic nature emerges with great clarity. And the power of meditative、uh, experience at this time is extremely great. 好，接下来我们<咳>看一下。有几个啊，就是就最近啊发生，就这么近几年发呃这个发生的几个这个红山春酒的事情。啊、uh, ，so I'd like to show you now some photos of、uh, some recent practitioners who attained the state of the rainbow body。嗯，这位上师啊，叫做阿丘坎布。嗯，就是上世纪九十年代，大概就是二十年前啊，这个红光的红山春秋。Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, so in this picture is uh Kempo Acho, who in the 1990s, approximately twenty years ago, achieved the state of rainbow body. 然后他。红山春秋的时候，他任何东西都没有留下。And、uh, when he achieved this state, he left nothing behind. 当时我也就是专门到他的住处，就去呃这个调查这个事情。And at this time, I went to the place where he lived in order to investigate this 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 happening. 然后调查的这个所有的这个这个有一个记录，所有的内容啊，有藏文的，然后也有中文的，呃，英文的可能还没有，啊，这个整个的这个调查的这个结果都写的很写的清清楚楚的，这我亲自亲自去做的调查。And、uh, the results of my personal research into this phenomenon, I.、Are Wrote down. I recorded、uh, very clearly, and、uh, it is、uh, now available in Tibetan and Chinese versions. The English version perhaps might not yet exist. Then this, ah, process, we did not see directly, not see directly. The process、um, whereby it took place was not something that I personally observed. 但是他身边的这些他的弟子啊，他最呃他的这些弟子都是一个真正的修行人，真正的修行人，我我们完全相信啊他们的这个描述。However, the descriptions of his disciples, who were themselves、um, sincere and real practitioners, I completely believe. 到现在，二十年过去了。我们大家都是就都是这么认为，他是真正的这个红山成就了。So now, after twenty years, everyone is of the firm belief that he was a real、uh, rainbow body、uh, attaining practitioner. 因为这个不是不可能的啊，这个藏传佛教的密法的这个历史上，出现过很多这样子的人。And this is not impossible. In the、uh, over the course of the、uh, history of Tibetan Buddhism, in the Tantric tradition, there have been、uh, many attainers of the rainbow body. Then, this is because of his transcendental power, the transcendental power, which makes his body and his appearance as a rainbow body. Ah, this is because of his transcendental power, the transcendental power, which makes And、uh, this takes place because of the power of、uh, these practitioners' meditative concentration during the bardo stage, which、uh, transforms their body into another kind of body. Then, 一百五十年前啊，又出现一个大家公认的一个非常了不起的一个这样子的红山成就，所有的
，呃，都融化掉，都消失掉，全身任何东西没有留。A hundred and fifty years ago, there was a、uh, practitioner that everyone considers to have achieved the state of rainbow body, and in this case, absolutely nothing was left. Everything、uh, was dissolved or disappeared. Ah,、uh, but 这样子的红花，这个红光呢，我们这个藏传佛教历史上也不是很多。But、uh, examples of this kind are quite few in the、um, Tibetan history of the Tibetan Buddhist tradition. Ah,、uh, most, all, most, all, their bodies are shrunken. In the majority of cases, the practitioners' bodies shrink. Then we can see another one, ah, a more enlightened practitioner, is a monk or monk. So we can have a look here at another picture of a、uh, Dzogchen practitioner, and in this case, this、uh, practitioner was a completely ordinary, unknown practitioner. 他是一个非常虔诚的这个大圆满的修行人。But an extremely dedicated practitioner of、uh, the Dzogchen practices. 然后，二零一六年啊，去年圆寂了。And he、uh, passed away last year in 2016. 然后这个啊、uh, 是中阴的啊、uh, 中阴入定啊、uh, 中阴入定就是大圆满的修行人啊、uh, 他圆寂了以后就是一周啊、uh, 一周左右啊、uh, 然后呢把他的门关起来。啊，任何人不进去啊，也不，也不公开他的这个亡身的啊，圆寂的这个消息。这样子以后呢，再给他一个非常安静的一个这样子的环境啊，在这个当中修行。一般大圆满的修行人的这个圆寂以后的处理的方法都是这样子。So, in the case of uh, most uh, Dzogchen practitioners, uh, one week after their、uh, death, the the door of their practice space is closed. Nobody enters. The news of their death is not、uh, proclaimed, and this is in order to give them a quiet environment in which to practice. And in the majority of cases, this is how the passing of a Dzogchen practitioner is handled. 这里本来有一个侧面的这个这个照片啊，我们看不出来，不知道什么问题。朋友没有拷贝的时候，可能没有拷贝好。那这个他的这个身体旺盛了以后呢，还是在保持这个搭坐的姿势。So after the practitioner dies, they maintain the meditation posture. 在一般的这个大圆满的修行人啊，就是七一周以后呢，比如说我们啊，找另外一个啊非常好的、非常修行非常好的上师啊，或者是他自己的弟子来啊，欢心啊，欢心欢心的有仪式，有一个仪式啊，有一个仪式，这个念了以后呢，让他从这个禅定里面出来的时候啊。然后他的这个意识就开始离开这个身体，然后呢，身体就开始啊变成了实体。那么他现在这个时候呢，啊，这个人的脸上就根本就看不出啊，这个尸体就是红光满面的，他就跟活着是一样的，只不过他是没有心跳啊，没有血液循环而已。So after a practitioner has been、uh, abiding in meditation for a period of one week after their death, then usually a another lama with a very high level of、uh, realization or one of the uh, practitioner's uh, own disciples wakes up. The uh, meditating uh, practitioner, and there is a, a ritual or a liturgy for this. 
and the purpose is to wake them or to bring them back from this state of meditative absorption. And um, what happens at this point is that the consciousness then finally departs the body of the practitioner and then the body starts to decompose and turn into a corpse. But as we can see in the picture, there is nothing that uh, uh, there is nothing there this practitioner doesn't show any signs of uh, death at all the skin is still very uh, appears very much as if the practitioner was still alive the only uh, thing uh, missing is the fact that the practitioner does not have a heartbeat 然后十多年前, 啊, 圆寂了去的人亲自给我讲的这种情况到处都有的不是一个两个这是一个真实的一个事实 over 10 years ago, there was a disciple of my own guru, uh, Kambujimi Punsok and uh, he, uh, after his passing uh, spent one week upright uh, meditating and with no movement at all. Then when his uh, disciple went to wake him and recite the liturgy to bring him back from his state of uh, meditative absorption, his body fell right over. And uh, this incident was personally told to me by that person themselves. And indeed, this is not an isolated case. This happens um, everywhere. There are many cases like this. This is um, a fact. This is a fact. This is a fact. This a fact. This is a fact. This is a This is a fact. This is a so the uh, content or the purpose of this liturgy that uh, uh, calls the practitioner back is to uh, essentially let them know that they uh, can finish their meditation and that their consciousness is ready to depart from their body. <coughs> Kandakanjat 然后呢你看这旁边就有一个人的手啊就是一皱啊就这么一皱一皱一皱这个人的手就大概就到这个这个啊这个柔体缩小的这个耳朵这个地方了那么他的全身就是缩小到这样子的程度我们一个一个刚
the tips of one's fingers and one's elbow. So this is an example of a person who was originally about 1.67 meters in height who has shrunken to the size or the length of a cubit. So their uh, body hasn't completely disappeared, but it has shrunken considerably. <laughs> if you go online and you search for the rainbow body, you will discover some negative explanations. They uh, and uh, these people who, uh, who, who criticize and uh, slander what is taking place say that um, in actual fact the, this whole idea of the body shrinking is a great deception and that what is taking place is, what takes place is the neck is removed, the legs are removed and then the body is tied up into a bundle. Um, but this is absolutely not uh, the case. It's not the truth. And uh, the reason that we can know this not to be the case is that the uh, bodies of these practitioners are attended to by their closest disciples. And these disciples regard the body of their teacher exactly the same as if it were the body of the Buddha. 就是切猪肉,切牛肉一样,这样切成一片一片,根本就不可能的事情。So it's uh, completely impossible that they would chop up their teacher's body just like a butcher chops up meat. 这个缩小的情况我也调查了,我也调查了,就是给这些人,跟他们沟通了,确实是事实就是这样子的。and I also investigated this um, uh, phenomenon of shrinking and uh, spoke to people who were there, and uh, indeed it is a true phenomenon. Everybody has this opportunity, the opportunity for their body to shrink like this. Of course, you might ask, well, uh, what's so good about shrinking? What's the difference between not shrinking and shrinking? Shrinking In actual fact, uh, the reason for the shrinkage of the body is that the wisdom of the practitioner, the, well, the, uh, the, the power of the wisdom of the practitioner is effectively melting their body to nothing. So uh, through this, we can see very clearly the, uh, the sheer power of the practitioner's meditative realization and wisdom. Woman 
So what we are seeking is not the shrinkage of the body, but the wisdom that occasions the body to shrink in the way it does. So what we are uh, pursuing is the uh, internal wisdom. 就是这个啊，这个刚才我们看到前面看到的一个啊啊这么大个子的一个这样子的人啊，最后就是变成啊，你看一个人的手就是放在这里这一周啊，差不多就比一周大一点点啊，只有一周高一点点，这个是真的是
，啊，第一是全部消失，啊，第二就是缩小。So the、uh, superior level of attainment is when the body、uh, dissolves or disappears into nothing, and then the、uh, next level below that is when the body shrinks. 那第三是什么呢 ？And what then is the third level? 好，我们再看下一个图片。啊，这是一位啊、呃，这个一位看部啊、呃，一个老看部，我、哦。一个非常非常了不起的一个看部啊，然后呢，他也是啊，二零一六年啊，去年圆寂的。So this is a picture of an old Campbell, an amazing old Campbell, and he too passed away last year in 2016. 啊，也是我们这个法王如意宝的弟子之一。And he was also one of、uh, Kempo Jimmy Punzok's、uh, disciples. 然后他圆寂了以后呢，他的整个的身体就变成了舍利。And when he、uh, passed away, his body transformed into uh, many uh, small relics. 这舍利就是这样子的。And、uh, this is a picture of those、uh, tiny relics. Ah, this is the third. Ah, this is the third, 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 slightly more low level achievement. So、uh, this, these leaving behind relics, is considered to be a slightly lesser level of、um, attainment. Useful, ah, still many. Ah, there are many. 啊，也很多，但是呢，他这个舍利就是整个全身都变成了这样子的舍利。呃、uh, ，cases where practitioners leave behind relics are very common. However, this is a case where the whole body was transformed into relics. 那么这三个这个修心的这个啊、呃、这个结果是都跟刚才我们讲的这个中阴的修心有关系。And in all three of these cases, the results or the attainments were related or connected to、uh, meditation or practice in the death bardo, as we have been looking at. So, in this mifa, ah, 里面呢，因为有了这个中阴的修法啊，中阴的修法，所以它可以全身红光，肉体缩小。然后整个身体都变成这个舍利啊，它可以做到这些，就是跟这个中阴的啊修法有关系。It's、uh, on the strength of the uh, practice uh, in the uh, intermediate state between death and rebirth that、um, that practitioners are able to attain the rainbow body,、uh, a shrunken body. Or trans be transformed into relics. It's precisely through the、uh, existence and their practice of meditation methods in the bardo state that this is possible. 然后这个肉体的缩小啊，舍利这些不是啊，现在发生了以后，我们去给他做解释，这个是成就啊，这个是解脱呀，不是这样。几千年前的佛经。啊，里面呢就有就有记载啊，成就修心到什么样的程度的时候啊，会全部这个整个身体消失啊，然后到什么样的程度肉体缩小，什么样的情况下啊变成这个舍利，然后舍利有有有有哪种舍利，有各种各样的舍利啊，这些都是几千年前啊就讲的非常清楚的。And uh, when, uh, as to the、uh, meanings of these various manifestations, such as、um, the when the physical body shrinks and、uh, or is transformed into relics, the meanings、uh, given to these signs are not、uh, attributed、uh, recently or in in recent times. In fact.、Um, 
more than 2,000 years ago, um, it was chronicled in the Buddhist scriptures that uh, certain levels of achievement and or, or attainment, enlightenment and realization correspond with different uh, physical signs. So it was chronicled what level of... Um, uh, realization corresponds with the whole body disappearing, the body shrinking, the body turning into relics, and so forth. Today, ah, because time constraints, uh, so today, because of uh, time constraints, um, all that I have uh, wanted to do is give a simple description of uh, this method of practice. 然后具体的, 啊, 有很多的这个方法, but there are many uh, specific methods of this nature. 那么如果大家感兴趣的话, if um, any of you are interested in these uh, methods, then uh, please continue to to study. Mifa的这个也不是密法，大乘佛教应该讲大乘佛教的这些修法啊，它部分出家、在家，任何人都可以修。So these methods in the Mahayana teachings uh, do not uh, discriminate between uh, ordained practitioners and lay practitioners, practitioners of any status are able to practice these methods. And if we are willing to uh, invest ourselves in these practices and be somewhat diligent in our practice, then the results that we can yield thereby are extremely tangible and concrete. The nature of one's Inner changes are something that um, a practitioner is very clear about. Other people might not perceive the changes, but one is uh, very clear about them oneself. Uh, if uh, you're interested in these practices, then everybody has the chance to practice them. 好，今天我们的这个讲座，这个讲到这里，到此结束。So our teaching for tonight is going to conclude now. <笑> 然后我们的人生当中啊，有很多很多很重要的，啊，至少我们自己认为是非常重要的，我们一定要去做的事情。in the course of our lives, uh, there are many things that we consider, it impo consider important to do. 修心, uh, 修心就是提升自己. Practice, uh, Buddhist practice, is uh, improving oneself. So, so for this reason, without any doubt, it is an extremely important thing to do. And I hope that everyone uh, can uh, appropriately invest themselves in this. Jibanajewalundabajo <laughs> Oh